friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here today because today in just about eight hours time, I'm gonna be heading to Alani. And for those of you who don't know what Alani is, Alani is Disney's resort in Oahu, Hawaii. And I cannot be more excited. Last time I went to Disney World, I did a pre-trip haul video video and you guys seem to really really enjoy that video and so I thought since we're going to Alani and going to Hawaii it's a little bit different than going to the Disney resorts and so I thought I would do another pre-trip haul since you guys liked the last one so much so I'm gonna talk first a little bit about our trip and then I'm gonna get into the things that I'm bringing along on the trip so first of all, let's talk about this trip. So my husband and I are going, we generally always go on some sort of vacation during the month of October because October is our wedding anniversary. Our wedding anniversary is October 10th. And I'm so very excited because we will actually be in Alani on our actual wedding anniversary. That doesn't always happen. So it's kind of exciting when it actually does happen where our trip actually aligns with our actual uh, anniversary date. So we're going to be on Alani for four days. We have a standard room and nothing too special. If you don't know, Alani is super expensive and they were doing a really specialty rate um, that was like 35% off your total stay. And so that's one of the biggest reasons why we decided to go during that time because it was just such an insane discount. I just don't feel like we're going to be able to get that any other time. So we really Really wanted to take advantage of it and it's so we're gonna be there from Thursday to Monday and then Monday we're gonna be flying to Kona Kona is the big island of Hawaii and so we're gonna be flying to Kona and staying there for the rest of the week we actually have some friends that live there and we're gonna be staying at a really lush like vacation rental property which we're so excited to show you guys we're gonna be vlogging this entire trip and so a lot of the videos are gonna be Disney related and then we'll have some Hawaii related videos as well some of the activities that we're doing in Alani that I think you need to know about so you understand why I purchased some of the things is that we are going to, number one, be going to a character breakfast experience, which I'm so excited about. I think the restaurant is called Malahiki. I will leave the name here, um, but they have a character breakfast experience. He is dressed as a chef and then Mickey and friends are also there. Also, by the way, Olu from Duffy and Friends is currently meeting in Alani and I, that is like my number one goal while I'm there is to meet Olu. <laughs> I haven't met a Duffy and Friends character ever. When we went to Japan a couple of years ago, um, the lines for Duffy and Shelly Mae were like six and seven hours long. It was just too much. If I lived there, I'd be like, yeah, I'd wait in that line. But when you only get a few days in Tokyo Disney, you're like, I don't know if I can waste that much time in line. It may not be a waste, but you understand where I'm coming from. It was just a lot. So um, Olu is there, which is really exciting. So I've got some Duffy and Friends things. Um, the other thing is that we are gonna be going to Kaloa Park. So Kaloa Park is not on Alani property. It's actually completely on the other side of the island. But what that is, it's the place where Jurassic World was filmed, which was really cool. So we're gonna be uh, taking a two hour self-guided ATV tour, which basically just means that you get in an ATV, you get two hours to roam the parks and have a great time. So looking forward to that. I think that my husband is gonna love that experience as well as I will too because it is such a beautiful place. I'll pop some imagery and information about Kaloa Park down in the description box down below and also on the screen so you can see it because oh my gosh it looks out of this world. And then we have a couple of very exciting things um, for the latter part of our Alani trip, we're gonna be having a sunset photo shoot actually on the date of our wedding anniversary. Uh, Alani does like private photo sessions that you can purchase um, with PhotoPass photographers and they take you out during sunset and take your photo, which is so cool. And so we're doing that on the night of our anniversary. And then we're also gonna be going to the Four Seasons. The Four Seasons is a resort that's like right next to Alani. And we're gonna be going to the Noe Italian restaurant there. It's like a really fancy Italian restaurant for the night 
of our anniversary, which is really fun. So we've got a very jam-packed four days. We don't have a lot planned for the Big Island. My big things I wanna do on the Big Island though, I want to go and hike to a waterfall and I wanna see a black and green sand beach because they have both of those there. And I also want to see lava. <laughs> I'm sure I can accomplish all of those things, but I was, um, I, I'm really excited to see lava, which I know is kind of silly, but I want to see a waterfall and I want to see lava and I want to see sand. That's what I want to see. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking you guys along. So I hope you guys want to see those things as well. But guys, we have so much to go through. I'm going to start opening up my bag because it's completely packed. I'm going to start opening up some packing cubes and we're going to go ahead and get into this pre-trip haul. <music> along on our Hawaiian experiences be sure to subscribe down below because videos will be coming out very soon and also be sure to be following me over on Instagram because we're gonna be posting lots and lots of stories of our time there and there will also be a story highlight too if you're seeing this a few days after we get in so first and foremost I bought new packing cubes so if you haven't seen my previous pack with me video from the last Walt Disney World trip I took I was graciously sent luggage from American Tourister that is absolutely gorgeous, very Mickey Mouse themed. And so I really wanted to get packing cubes to match it. So I got yellow packing cubes. These are just standard packing cubes from Amazon, but they match my luggage so, so well. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above for you to check out. But I'm just gonna open this packing cube because there's a lot in here that we need to talk about. So first and foremost, I got both my husband and I these phone cases that are waterproof covers for your phone case. Now these do come with, um, they do come with lanyards. So there are lanyards, but you just place your phone in here and it basically provides like a waterproof protection for your phone. Now I've seen people actually like put this necklace on and swim with it. I don't know if I'm that brave. <laughs> if you've had experience with this, I'm very curious. Do you swim with this? Because like literally the promo photo was a person swimming with their phone hanging around their neck. I'm like, are you sure that this is like a very sturdy product that would not get water through it? And also, are you sure that you won't get like caught on something? Because sometimes the surf in Hawaii is intense. So anyway, I got purple because it's my favorite color. And then my husband got blue because that is his favorite color. So that is our phone covers. Also, I got this. This is a beach chair safe. It's called a flex safe. I got this on Amazon. And what is really cool, it's basically an anti theft uh, device that actually clips on to your beach chair. And then there is a little code that you place in and then it locks it just kind of like a bike lock is how um, I would describe it. But it has a zipper that opens completely and you can store whatever you'd like in there. It does hold two phones and wallets and keys. It's actually fairly spacious, although it looks a little bit small and it does have these really cool mesh sides and these actually fit um they actually fit sunscreen it's a really handy sort of device especially because we're going to be going to public beaches and the pool at alani i thought it might be good for us to store our items in this next i have two turkish towels so these turkish towels are these Turkish towels are as big as beach towels. They're very absorbent and they're also extremely lightweight. I got these because I wanted us to be able to place these in our backpack and go and possibly like sit and have a picnic or sit on the beach and we don't have to bring bulky beach towels with us. So I got blue for Jesse and I got gray for me. So Jesse is my husband's name. We have the same name. So I'm not talking about myself in the third person just to <laughs> just to clarify that a lot of people think that 
So I understand it's super confusing. So these Turkish towels were super inexpensive. They were about 15 bucks a piece. Um, and they're actually really, really nice quality. My friend Jackie swears by these towels. Um, she lives in Cape Cod. And so she's always at the beach and she loves hers. And these were suggested by her. So we got two of them for us for this trip. Now, I should preface this with, this is not in any particular order. I'm just literally taking things out of my suitcase and showing you. We're gonna talk a little bit about t-shirts now so my uh my friend maria from lake buena visitors actually brought me a ton of amazing t-shirts while i was in walt disney world and some of them were specifically for this trip so thank you so much maria for sending these my way if you guys are interested in checking out lake buena visitors they're an amazing company i will link them down below but check out some of the t-shirts that she sent my direction this t-shirt i'm bringing along with me because it's still kind of halloween spooky season and i just am in love with it this is the dr facilier voodoo Import Emporium tie-dye t-shirt. How amazing is this? I'm actually going to be using this to lounge inside of the room. I just think it is such a cool shirt, especially with all of the tarot cards. And it says New Orleans, Louisiana on the bottom. And then also, this is the other one I'm bringing, and I'm bringing some stitch ears too to go with this. This is the Viva La Stitch album. And so it's got Stitch in his Elvis form, and it says Viva Stitch the album how cool is that i thought alani and stitch go so well together so this one is definitely coming with me on this trip and then she also gifted me guys 50 years of magic how stunning is this shirt it also matches those gold ears that they just released for the 50th this one is not coming with me um but i really am excited to wear that on my next Disney World trip. We also, she sent me this Jungle Cruise t-shirt, but wait, it gets better. Look at this. The back of it says the amazing, colossal, stupendous, eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. I'm dead. I love this. <laughs> so fun. Also, they have this really cool Madame Leota design. Oh my gosh, we are obsessed this stunning Rapunzel design. Yes. And last but certainly not least, we have the Tis the Season Nightmare Before Christmas wreath t-shirt. How cool is that? I love Haunted Mansion Holiday. And so I hope that someday when I can get back to Disneyland that I will get to wear that for Haunted Mansion Holiday. But thank you so much, Maria, for sending those my direction. You are so sweet. And again, Lake Buena Visitors is going to be linked down below. So let's talk about ears. So I am bringing two headbands and one pair of ears. Now, these two that I'm gonna show you now are not new. Um, I've had them for a while, but I just wanna show you what I'm bringing just so you know. So here is the Duffy and Friends headband. This is actually an Alani exclusive. I purchased this off of Mercari, but I thought it was perfect to bring along with me on this trip. And then also I modified my stitch ears to have a really cute little lay kind of around the edge of them. These are from fun.com. I am obsessed. Look how silly these are. <laughs> I love it. Love it. And then I got one pair of ears that are from a small shop called Round Trip. And these are beautiful Alani style ears with ferns. I am in love. And also look how pretty they wrapped the headband. I just think these are so nice. It's such a lightweight uh, headband as well. And I really wanted to get white flowers because I thought it would go kind of with everything. So that is what I'm bringing along as far as headbands go for Alani. So next I'm gonna talk about two items that I got from Two Park Princesses. Two Park Princesses is a small shop. I'm not sponsored by them. I purchased these from them. And this is the jewelry case. And then I got the matching Minnie Mouse 
makeup bag. So I got these because I got this new luggage. And if you know me, like I love everything to match. And so this like just is so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna also show you some new jewelry that I got, but check out the inside of this jewelry box, or excuse me, jewelry bag. So you've got a bunch of like small zipper pouches, then you have a place for necklaces, and then you have a place for bracelets and then earrings here in the center. So this is what I'm bringing along. This is a necklace from Pura Vida. This is actually brand new. And I do have a little Mickey bracelet that I'm also bringing from Pura Vida. They just did a really cute, simple Disney line. And if you guys are looking for cute things, check them out. <laughs> um, and then I have my uh, peace sign earrings from Bobble Bar and then check out all my Bobble Bar earrings. So I got the Daisy Duck Hula. We got the Mickey Mouse with the ukulele. And then these are from my Enchanted Mysteries box that I just opened. These are actually a Rebus Brothers earrings, which are so stunning. And then I have a simple bracelet that's from the Disney parks. It was given to me in a bippity box. And then also in a bippity box, they sent me these earrings, which are amazing because they're going to match the dress that I want to wear on the night of my sunset photo shoot. So cool jewelry case this is, I love the size of it. It's so perfect. I was thinking like if I ever have to travel again for a wedding, like this is the perfect thing to travel for a wedding for because you always have lots of accessories and things for weddings. Um, I love this though. This is gonna come so much in handy because I bring a lot of accessories with me on all my trips. And then we've got the matching makeup case. I love, look at that sparkle. It's so stunning. So I do have this packed, so fair warning. <laughs> It does come with a mirror and the mirror is not is a non-breakable mirror, which I love. Um, I do, I have purchased makeup bags in the past that have had glass mirrors and they have shattered all over my makeup. Oh, it was awful. Then they have a place where you can put small brushes and then a place to put large brushes. So all my brushes are actually in there. And then, and then <laughs> when you open up the big portion of the case, you have, well, I have my palette that I like to take with me, but this is the inside of the case. So there's three individual sections, plus there's like little mesh pockets, little zipper pouches. You've got zipper pouches here on the top. You also have this bungee where you can take that mirror from the top of the bag and place it here and kind of prop it up so you can do your makeup like that. I just love the functionality of this bag. And I, I also love that it has structure, but it's not rigid, if that makes sense. Um, I've gotten a rigid bag off of Amazon and I really just liked it. I just love the structure of this bag because if you don't use a ton of makeup it can collapse down a little bit which I appreciate. So this is definitely going to be a staple for all of my travels here upcoming in the future. I'm so 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 pleased with these two items. I'll link to Park Princesses down below as well. Should we talk snacks? So I got two different snacks um, just to have inside of the room because snacks from home are always cheaper than snacks when you buy them at Disney. Um, and so I got the Wiley Wallaby Blasted Berry Licorices. And so we went with this for like a sweet treat. Um, these have a mix of huckleberry, blueberry, pomegranate, and triple berry flavored licorice and Wiley Wallaby has really good regular licorice. I've actually never tried this before, but I thought, why not? We'll try some fun fruity flavor for our trip. And then this is a home favorite of Jesse and mine. We love this. It's a staple in our home. And so we're bringing this along. We're huge tahine people. And so we got the tahine toasted corn. Um, we get this at our Burlington Coat Factory, which is like so random. It's a very rarely in our grocery store, but when we go to Burlington Coat Factory, we buy like 10 bags of this and keep it in our pantry. <laughs> Who would have thought you could get groceries at Burlington Coat Factory? Anyway, if you haven't tried this, it is so, 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 so good. Um, this is the large bag. They also come in like smaller bags, but we're gonna bring this along to have in our hotel room. This purchase was so random. It was so random, but I was in the clearance section at Target and I saw this and I was like, this is really weird. Like, I think I might wanna get this. So this was $4 and this is a foldable straw hat. What? 
I didn't even not I did not even know that these existed so it's got like a little bungee but then you pull it apart and check this out it, oh I have ears on <laughs> sorry let me try again <laughs> check this out oh is this the cutest thing ever but it I mean it does have like your head exposed but I'm like I could put like a big ponytail up and still have this coverage and what I like about it is I really dislike traveling with hats because I hate trying to preserve them on the plane it's so hard to, in my opinion it's hard to travel with hats so I was so excited to see this as like an option um and I am kicking myself because they also had black and then they had another like darker brown color and I didn't get the other two. So I'm hoping that maybe next year when summer season happens, I can get the other ones of these because I have a feeling that this is gonna be a vacation favorite this time around and I'm very excited about this. Yeah, Target clearance, pretty awesome. Oh, I got this because mine broke. This is just a weight for your luggage. So um, we travel often with Alaska Airlines and they have a weight limit of 50 pounds per bag. And as someone who brings home a lot of souvenirs, I need to know exactly how much my bags weigh. So I just got another one of them because my last one is broken. This is just a cheapy one off Amazon, but they're all pretty much the same, honestly. Next, I got these for both Jesse and I. We plan on doing some hiking while we're there and we do plan on going to a waterfall. And so I don't have any water shoes. So I ended up getting these water shoes. Um, they are incredibly lightweight. Like it is wild how like easy they are to like throw <laughs> I picked them up when I first got them they were in this bag that came from Amazon and I picked them up and I was like whoa <laughs> it was so funny um but what's really cool is they have like holes in the bottom of them so water can free throw flow freely through them oh my gosh words are so hard today and they're tied with little bungees um I am excited to try them and let you guys know what I think of them. Um, and Jesse got a neon green pair, so we're gonna kind of be matching, which will be kind of fun. This is as close as I'm gonna get to matching outfits with him. Uh, next, I got to these sandals. These are Sanook yoga mat sandals. They do like recyclable yoga mat sandals. Sanook is one of my most favorite brands. I love their yoga sling sandals. And I just didn't have a brown pair of Sanooks, so I thought I would go ahead and get these for my trip. So I'm so excited to have these because Sanook is one of the only brands that I can wear in the parks all day sandal wise and not have hurt feet. The next pair of sandals that I got are from Haviana. Haviana is the other brand that of sandal that I can wear into the parks all day and not have a problem. Uh, when I went to Disney Springs last time, I fell in love with the color of these sandals and unfortunately they didn't have them in my size. So right when I got home from my last trip, I ordered these beauties and they are so gorgeous. Look at that green glitter. I just love them. I thought these are absolutely perfect for Hawaii. So I'm bringing these along with me as well. Let's talk Kaloa Park. So my friends over at Very Nico sent me a lot of fun items for us to wear while we're at Kaloa Park, which is so nice. So Very Nico, if you're watching, thank you guys for sending us over all of these amazing goodies. So first we're gonna start with this Jurassic World water bottle. How cool is this? So it's got a dinosaur on one side with some really cool leaves. It says Jurassic World and then there is a wooden top to it. And it is an insulated bottle. And they sent both Jesse and I one of these, which was so sweet. They also sent us this really fun reusable, I'm uh, not reusable, reversible hat. I swear guys, my, my vocabulary. So this side is my favorite side. So it's got all the fun leaves. And then the other side has the dinosaur on it, which is really fun. They sent me these really cool canvas high top tennis shoes that are themed to giraffe world which is so fun I'm such a huge fan of this style of shoe and other side with more leaves on it and we got this really fun 
Jurassic World t-shirt. This is the t-shirt they sent for me. And it's got the Jurassic World logo and then the big Jurassic World logo on the back. Sent me this super adorable crop hoodie that has the Jurassic World logo. I'm gonna be like fully decked out on this trip. Like I'm so excited. So there's that and then here's the hoodie. And then this is the shirt they sent for Jesse, which I think is so cool. He's gonna love this shirt. So it has the Jurassic World logo on the front and then check out the back. Isn't that so nice? So thank you to Very Nako. I'm so excited to like sport like a really fun Jurassic World themed day while we're there uh, to kind of celebrate the film. And that whole park looks insane. So we're just so excited to be able to go to it. Next, we got some reef safe sunscreen. They have two chemicals that you cannot have in your sunscreen. I did a lot of research because both Jesse and I are very, very fair skinned and we burn so easily. So I finally found this Sun Bum uh, 30 SPF sunscreen. We got two bottles of it because we really have to reapply several times a day. Um, and this does not contain those two chemicals that are banned um, to help preserve the reefs in Hawaii. So we got two of those and we also got some sun lotion from Sun Bum, but that is coming in the mail today. So I actually don't have it to show you right now. Oh, I'm telling you, the Target clearance section really came in clutch. They had this shirt, which I thought was so cute. It's a little bit big on me, but this shirt was $4. And I was like, this is perfect for Hawaii. So I thought I could wear that with like a little pair of shorts or something. And then this is the dress that we are getting that we that i'm getting my professional pictures taken in i don't think jesse's gonna want to wear this <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> um and so here it is it's like a little off the shoulder number this is from a company called boohoo which i'm so obsessed with and it's got a little tie around the waist it does have a pretty high slit so i have to be a little bit careful um but i do really love this color actually looks really nice on my skin tone which is kind of surprising because it's got a lot of yellow tones but I just fell in love with this and it was on sale for $16 on Boohoo so well I love a good bargain I'm telling you I love a good bargain next I got this really cool tie-dye dress from Amazon I just thought it was so cute and this is just something that I want to wear like around um like around the resort but isn't this so cute it's just like a little skater dress and it's got like just regular like uh t-shirt sleeves it was i think this one was about 30 dollars, which was more than i wanted to pay but it is so soft it is going to be so comfortable to wear at the resort so i'm very happy to have this to bring with me and then I also got another dress from Cupshe. I'll have a couple of things from Cupshe I'll be showing you in this haul. But this is an off the shoulder, like little uh, number that is like this really nice teal. It's got the buttons and then it does have a waist tie. I want to wear this during the character breakfast because I thought that that would be so cute. Um, and maybe with those Duffy and Friends ears because the colors match Gelatoni's coloring so perfectly. And I made something. <laughs> <laughs> so last night I was like, I want to make this sweatshirt. So I made a sweatshirt of this emblem um, last year because I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the third time we've had to reschedule Alani based off of travel restrictions and all these things. So we've been trying to get there for quite a while. So I made this on a crop, a crop sweatshirt and it just like did not look good on me. It was just like a little bit too short and a little bit it was just weird. So anyway, I got another sweatshirt and I tried it on at Target and I was like, okay, I like this. So then I added the lava. Uh, I, I would call it an emblem, but basically it's the two characters from the Pixar short lava. And if you haven't seen lava, go to Disney plus after this video and please go watch it because it is one of my most favorite shorts. Actually, I think it is my favorite short. And since I was going to Hawaii and probably going to see a volcano, I needed to make it.
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, next I wanted to show you some shorts that I got. Um, I'm not really keen on wearing shorts too often. Um, I'm not usually very comfortable wearing shorts because I have some leg insecurities. Um, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get a pair of shorts and I may or may not wear them. And then I got them in two colors. So I got them in gray and then I also got them in teal. And these, it really is such a flattering design. Um, I like that it's a little bit longer. Um, I have really big legs. And so it's kind of nice that it's got a little bit of length to it. And then I also purchased these shorts. Now these shorts are more like kind of casual shorts. And I figured like these would be great to just like pop my swimsuit on and like go to the pool or something along those lines. So I got a khaki pair of those and I got a black pair of those. So I'm bringing four pairs of shorts, which is like very unlike me, <laughs> very unlike me. Also those shorts, sorry, I forgot to tell you, they're from Target. Uh, Target was having a huge clearance sale with all of their shorts just recently and it just happened to hit at the perfect timing right before my trip. So I took advantage of that. Most of those shorts um, that I got, I think were anywhere from like seven to $11 was I think the most that I paid for those shorts. I'm gonna show you a fragrance that I got, which is kind of random, but I have fallen in love with the Bath and Body Works Fairy Tale uh, collection. I don't know if it's the name. Oh, it might be the name, but it smells so good. I wonder if the notes are listed on here. They're not, but I will put them here for you because I'm really bad at describing scents. But if you're looking for an awesome perfume, this is the way to go. So they have little travel perfumes now. Look how cute this is. So these are like purse size. And then here's the fairy tale emblem and it's got like flowers on it. But I did not realize that they had these little sticks. Love wearing perfume and oftentimes I don't get to wear it on vacation because I don't have any travel perfume. So now I do. Next, let's talk swimwear. So I want to be very clear. I live in Alaska. So like Summer clothing is not really a thing for me. <laughs> so that's a lot of why I've had to buy a lot of these things. Like I just don't own shorts and I just don't own a lot of summer type of outfits, including a lot of swimwear. Um, so I got this really amazing cover up on cup sheet that I'm obsessed with. Look how pretty this is. So I got it in an XXL and I regret getting it in an XXL. It is a little bit too, it's really baggy on me, honestly. I wish I would have got an extra large, but it's gonna be fine. I, I'd rather have it too big than too small. It's got this really nice like slit on the side of the leg. It's not too high, which is kind of nice. So I think this is gonna be a favorite of mine during this trip. It's so light and airy and just so fun with the colors. Next, I got, this is my most favorite bathing suit I think I've ever gotten before. It is so fun. This is like a scalloped bathing suit and it's got like a cutout. And do you see like the scalloped edging around the bottom? I think it's probably best for me to like put an image up so you can see what it looks like. But how cute is this? I am so excited to wear this to the pool. Also look how nice this like fabric is. It is seriously so comfortable. And I think this is gonna be like my favorite bathing suit for while I'm there. And then I also got um, a rash guard bathing suit as well, cause I'm not sure what kind of activities we're gonna be doing. And so just in case I was like, you know what? I've been needing one of these anyway, because we're gonna hopefully be taking a Disney cruise and doing some excursions eventually. So I ended up getting a rash guard swimming suit, which is just like a long sleeve swimming suit. And then it's got little matching shorts. These had really good reviews online. Um, I got them on Amazon. So I thought, May as well just get it just in case I need it during this trip because I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I went ahead and bought it. This next swimming suit is so fun. Also from Cup She. I just am in love with it. It's also so very flattering. This is the like Hawaiian bathing suit. It's a one piece and it has this really cool element where it like goes on both, it like ties around you on both sides. Isn't this so pretty? Like so Hawaii, right? Happy with this one as well. And then I got two swimming suits from, oh gosh, I'm gonna forget the company. I'll pop it on the screen but these are the same type of swimming suits, like the same type of cut. So I'm gonna show you two different ones. 
First of all, this color is stunning. I always generally wear black bathing suits, but I fell in love with this color. It looks like marble and it really is very flattering on. It's a little booby, so I have to be a little bit cautious, um, but it is a very fun bathing suit. And I got another one of those in leopard slash <laughs> slash leaves and this is uh this is the waist tie by the way I just tied it up to the top of it because I didn't want to lose it but isn't she cute I just thought she was on a safari and like she needed to come with us uh, but I do love that one side of the ruffle is the main fabric and then the other side is the leopard so it kind of like peeps through the ruffle the design is impeccable um but those are my bathing suits I'm bringing along and then next, this is a really cool purchase. So I actually purchased this a while ago. Like I'm talking at least a year ago because um, we were planning on going to Alani at that time. But of course, you know what happened. Now I can actually show you this. This is the Duffy and Friends Alani exclusive lounge fly mini backpack. So here is the backpack. So I'm gonna get closer to the camera so I can show you. So it has all of Duffy and Friends characters and they are at Alani and like, Duffy has a snow cone. Olu is playing the ukulele. You've got Shelly Mae holding out a lei and she has a hibiscus flower in her hair. Jella Tony is wearing like a puka shell necklace and kind of frolicking. There's little um, flowers and also little seashells all over this. And I just thought that this was so cute. This is the only bag I'm bringing along on the trip. And I wanted to show you my little keychain. This is from Hannah Marie Magic, and also my ears that I'm wearing today are from Hannah Marie Magic. Um, but she sent me this, and I thought that this would be perfect to take with to Hawaii, and I just thought the yellow matched really nicely with the bag because the yellow is represented in all the tiny little hibiscus flowers that are kind of hidden in the background. So I thought I really like pulled it all together. So this is the bag that I'm bringing with me. I have seriously been saving it for a year for when I go to Alani. I have my standard. This is my uh, Loungefly backpack insert. Um, I can link it down below. It's the most amazing thing for people who wear or want to change out of their backpacks. I love having the organizer in there. It just helps so much. That was a serious haul. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to know if there was anything that you felt that maybe I missed or is there something that you like to bring along with you on beach vacations that um, maybe all of us need to know about in the comments uh, because I feel like these videos are great for us to be able to share information because we all want to have an amazing experience on vacation and I would love to know what you bring along on your trip so we can discuss that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below. Those Alani and Hawaii videos are going to be coming out very soon. And also, if you have it, I would love for you to be my friend over on Instagram. We're going to be doing lots of fun stories on our travels. I had just so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. And thank you for always watching and supporting my channel. It means the world to me. So I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN. Bye! Aloha!